Hey up lads and lasses, Danfi here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Now today, as promised, we are looking at the Best in Slot Cruisers. Uh, this is following the same format as the previous Best in Slots. Uh, I will talk about uh, the Best in Slot for damage per minute, the Best in Slot for uh, tanking, etc, etc. Uh, something to note, there are a fair few honourable mentions within these categories, but I am trying to keep this video as short and sweet as possible so you have something to aim for when you're within uh, the research tab and trying to pinpoint ships that you, you kind of outperform the others in most situations. And there will be a couple of honourable mentions in some of the categories, but uh, yeah. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, first up, uh, as per usual, we're starting with DPM and the best DPM in slots. And this is something fantastic with the research agreement. I can come in here and I can view every single ship. So I can easily cover all of them quite happily. So best in slot for DPM is the anti-ship type. That's the heavy torpedo Callisto. This thing's torps are just absolutely nuts. And this is like at the very base level it's hitting 1600 damage per hit and hits those eight times yeah this thing's damage and dpm pushes absolutely astronomical levels and will quite literally level most heavy uh like battle cruisers and other cruisers with absolutely no issue whatsoever even high armor variants like st 59s with heavy heavy armor I've been hit by these things when they're maxed out and that armor didn't mitigate anywhere near enough damage to really keep up with the DPM that this thing can pump out. So yeah, definitely best in slot here is the Callisto Heavy Torpedo. There genuinely isn't much that competes with it either. Uh, off the top of my head you have like sort of Heavy Cannon, um, uh, heavy cannon Chimera does great DPM but that can get mitigated by armor pretty rapidly. Uh, you then maybe the IO with the energy based weapons, but honestly, this thing is beast. Try and grab it. It will uh, definitely give you a massive boost, especially if your enemies are running cruiser and above style ships. We then look into the tank class and there is only sort of one and even then, I don't personally think that it does the job particularly well. You have the dif defensive cruiser, the defensive Chimera. Now this thing maxed out pushes 190 armor and the reason I don't like it still is due to the fact it only hits 20% energy resistances uh, and about 100,000 HP. On the front line, this will outlast both things, but due to the fact that its energy resistance is still low, uh, if you are facing enemies that do run full energy uh, fleets and stuff like that, it still drops really quickly. There isn't a cruiser that really sits in the best in tank slot, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Your other options are the likes of um, IOs, because they can get the bonus dodge rate on uh, propulsion, uh, bringing their you know, ship evasion up to a fair bit. I think it's about 35-40%, something like that, maxed out. Uh, actually, I think, is it 41%? It could be a little bit lower than that. Um, so yeah, there isn't really a best tank slot. Uh, if there is going to be one, and uh, I would say it's that Chimera defensive, uh, but you could potentially look for other ships on this list as uh, being a bit more important for your fleet. We then look at, uh, we know there's no support there's no real support, like there's no healing in Cruiser class, so we're sort of skipping that one a little bit. But I will mention it sort of now because it does actually also include it. Uh, we are looking at the best fighter carrier, uh, which I believe is Antonius. Yeah. You're looking at the tactical type Predator. Now this has uh, info UAVs and they improve hit rate of ships and they do affect your fleet. Uh, so. There's your support, I guess, your best in slot support. 
But this thing's also carrying uh, four medium fighters. All of the uh, Predator variants are pretty much, you know, the best in terms of carrying fighters within the uh, cruiser class. So there you go. Uh, an honorable mention is the KCCV. It can carry large fighters. It only has two bays though, so bear that in mind. Uh, it can be usable. I have personally run them uh, recently in a siege fleet with bullfrogs on them to save um, the likes of Stingrays for my CV3Ks. And uh, it worked actually really, really well. They did, a, they did a good job on the siege damage with those bullfrogs. So, uh, honorable mention there. But best in slot is this Predator for carrying uh, fighters. Again, four fighters, three uh, info UAVs, which is just gonna help your hit rate overall and just, you know, help your uh, ships pump out the damage that they potentially can. And it really doesn't lose anything bar a fairly low damage missile system uh, from the generic type. So if you do have the tactical, I recommend running them over the other two types. The anti-aircraft, uh, again, I also don't think is particularly useful because genuinely, if you're running medium fighters, you're gonna have some sand drakes or some mistral or some spore around. So having the anti-fire, uh, anti-aircraft missile system on the uh, Predator is just kind of a bit pointless when you can have hit rate UAVs. Next up for best in slot is best in slot carriers for Corvettes, and there is only one to really talk about. It's the base variant of the Jaeger. This thing carries four Corvettes in. For CP to uh, the amount of carrying capability, it's probably one of like the most efficient carriers in the game, uh, especially core Corvettes, because everything else carries two, I believe. So this definitely works out quite nicely. And, uh, not a bad looking ship actually. There was somebody on the uh, IL Facebook group that posted uh, a pic of one of these in bright red with black uh, nebula chasers on it. It looked uh, really, really cool. Really nice uh, nice skin for this ship. Uh, it hasn't got the best weapon systems. Um, again, they're reasonable, but at the end of the day, you are mainly looking for this to carry in corvettes for you within the cruiser class and this is uh, your best bet there we then look at siege and uh, there is really only one ship that does this extremely well and that is the siege io uh, maxed out this thing absolutely decimates bases uh, in one of the battle reports I've got it was a level 7 city we were attacking um, and I did 6 million damage with a specifically designed siege fleet which had 8 of these in of that 6 million damage something like uh, 3.5 million of the damage was done by these IO alone they were maxed out at the time with maxed out iron uh, siege cannon spec for siege damage uh, but yeah, there is uh, nothing that really keeps up with it in the uh, class. Uh, this thing just wrecks. It's uh, really, really good. Definitely recommend that if you are looking for specific siege fleets to try and beat your uh, members out when you're taking cities on uh, damage dealt. Having a siege fleet with some siege IO in it um, feels a little bit cheaty, but it's kind of funny. So definitely check those out. Now, I have got... Uh, best in slot AA as being the standard light cone and that's due to the fact that it has the Tundra UAV at the art area denial UAV so they do increase damage versus um, some of the, the fighters that you have like five units of there's five in a squad uh, they, they get like a bonus damage there because apparently this area denial does act like some form of AOE damage uh, although it is still very limited. Uh, I've got a little bit of information from the devs about that because I was asking what's the difference between these area denial uh, anti-aircraft UAVs and these other ones and they said they have got some small amount of splash damage so when they are hitting the likes of uh, five squad interceptors and stuff like that they dish out a bit of damage between the entire uh, lot. So um, I have these run against me uh, a couple of times and I, the damage is still pretty limited and this was against my full aircraft fleet 
and yeah i was still disappointed but i don't believe there is really anything anti-aircraft specifically on ships that still works as effectively as running actual anti-aircraft uh, aircraft like sandrakes or spore so uh if you have maybe had some better results running these do let me know in the comments uh but yeah that's it for this video i have got more information on the next phase and stuff like that so i'm going to be releasing a video as soon as i can on that uh the devs thankfully gave me it unfortunately they also gave me it in chinese so i'm having to work on getting that translated before i can sort of say anything about it and anything about the phase so do stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time